extreme honor to be assigned to this ship and to be on the leading edge of new naval technology. We're literally writing naval doctrine as we proceed in testing independence. This uh, design on the bridge here in Independence is unlike any uh, bridge design in the United States Navy. It's really the nerve center of everything that takes place on Independence. There was a forward area, cockpit area. This is where we actually drive the ship. And immediately behind that, where the multifunction consoles are, is Integrated Command Center number one, which is the ship's combat information center. Everything is in one space, which allows me a lot of flexibility and it greatly expands the situational awareness between uh, those who are driving the ship and those who are operating the weapons and sensors. If I'm in open ocean, I may have as few as two people standing watch on the bridge. Increasing speed to one five knots, increase speed to one five knots high. Those two people take the place of about 12 watch standards on most Navy ships. There's a lot of flexibility in how we configure and station people on the bridge. And because the Integrated Command Center and the bridge are co-located, moving those people takes literally uh, just a few seconds. Many ships in the Navy, you have dedicated console positions that are hardwired to perform very specific functions. Uh, with the open architecture, we are able to reassign any task to basically any console that we have up here on the bridge. So it gives us a lot of flexibility based on the tactical needs of the ship. And that's a first. We've never been able to do that in the surface fleet. And we're still just scratching the surface in terms of just how flexible we can actually be. When you talk about littoral combat ships, uh, from the get-go, they were designed to operate with mission packages. The development of the mission packages has pretty much driven the development of the ship. Usually about one day, uh, pier side, we can remove an entire mission package bringing a completely new mission package on board along with the people that operate that mission package equipment and be able to go back to sea performing a second mission. Just about anything that you could think of we could actually do as long as you can drive it onto the ship or fly it on. ICC-2, our second combat information center, that's devoted exclusively to the mission package and to the fire scout system. It truly is a plug-and-play system in that we bring these new systems and modules on the ship we plug them into land drops in the mission bay, and we're able to operate the equipment from up here in Integrated Command Center, too. As captain of Independence, uh, one of the things that I appreciate the most about the ship is a Total Ship's Computing Environment, or TSC. My officer of the deck, on the quarter deck, can literally plug a laptop in, and he has a complete overview of the entire ship, everything from the engineering plant, uh, the electrical system. He has access to every single camera on board the ship. So in one spot, this one person is actually doing the job of a 10-person duty session. And that's uh, some of the benefits we get from this open architecture from the Total Ships Computing Environment. I believe that open architecture on the LCS program certainly provides a degree of flexibility that hasn't previously existed on other ship classes. And in most navies in the world, that capability does not exist. The view from the control tower is pretty impressive. We can see the entire flight deck. You're sitting up pretty high. The heel control officers uh, really enjoy being up there. It's a very comfortable space, it's a very large space, and just about everything they need uh, from communications to uh, flight control is located in that one space. Helicopters are a centerpiece of the mission packages on this ship, and we use them to conduct all the operations that we work with using our unmanned vehicles from the mission bay. So we have the ability to transition equipment from the mission bay down below up to the helicopter hangar via an elevator system. And in doing so, we're able to integrate the aviation capabilities into the mission package uh, very closely. We have the largest flight deck for a combatant class ship. It's four and a half times the size of a flight deck that you would see on a typical Navy frigate or destroyer. We have three landing spots on this ship. Two landing spots can be used simultaneously. No other surface combatant ship of this size is capable of doing that. We also have the ability to store multiple aircraft in our helicopter bay and still have room to conduct work and conduct maintenance on the ship uh, while we're conducting aviation operations. It also gives us the capability to stage equipment on the flight deck if we were doing vertical transfer of material. I have a lot of staging area where I can pre-set up equipment and be able to transfer it for lift very quickly. The impression that I'm left with is just how adaptable and flexible the entire ship is. We need to open the aperture a little bit and start using our imaginations to fully exploit the capabilities of this ship.